Hey guys, today we'll be covering a 2018 drama film called Tully. The opening scene begins with a woman named Marlo, who is nine months pregnant. She already has a son named Jonah and an older daughter named Sarah. Jonah appears to have psychological problems that cause him to go crazy from time to time. He throws a tantrum, even with just the slightest dissatisfaction. One night, Marlo informs her husband Drew that she will be visiting her brother Craig the following day. However, Drew does not look excited about it because he believes that Craig despises him. The next morning, Marlo gets her kids ready and drives them to school. But before she can leave, Principal Lori summons her for a quick chat. She talks about Jonah and asserts that he is a bit eccentric. She recommends that Marlo hire a one-on-one -on -one aide who can provide Jonah with extra attention and care. Marlo simply says she'll think about it before leaving. However, in reality, she doesn't have enough money to hire a private aide for her son. Following this, Marlo walks into a coffee shop where she is approached by her old friend Vi. They exchange phone numbers and agree to meet again soon. The same evening, Marlo and her family drive to Craig's house. Unlike his sister, Craig appears to be wealthy and successful. After dinner, he takes Marlo to his private bar and prepares her a drink. He also offers to hire a night nanny for her as a gift. Marlo swiftly declines, citing that she doesn't want strangers in her home at night. Despite this, Craig hands her a business card of the nanny and strongly recommends she give it a try. Later that night, Marlo's water breaks and Drew drives her to the hospital. The next day, she gives birth to a baby girl and Craig and his wife visit her at the hospital. After the birth of her third child, Marlo's life becomes even more difficult because she has to wake up every few hours in order to breastfeed the child, change her diapers, and put her back to sleep. She also experiences lactation pain time and again. Marlo barely has time to sleep because she spends all of her time caring for the baby. As a result, the house becomes a shambles. On the other hand, Drew sleeps soundly and does nothing to help Marlo besides give her a morning and evening kiss before going to work. A few days later, Marlo is again summoned by Principal Lori, who urges her to take Jonah to a special school. Hearing this, Marlo gets angry and starts berating the principal. She appears to be irritated as everyone refers to her son as quirky. At this point, she has become extremely depressed. Marlo can't take it any longer, so she finally decides to hire a night nanny. She informs her husband of her decision, which causes him to initially hesitate because Craig is paying for it. However, he can't afford a nanny, so he has no choice but to agree with her. One day, her son accidentally pours milk on her, but Marlo is too tired to react, so she simply takes off her wet shirt. Late at night as Marlo is watching television, the doorbell suddenly rings. When she answers the door, she finds a girl named Tully who introduces herself as the night nanny. At first, Marlo cannot believe that Tully is a nanny because she looks much younger than she anticipated. As a result, she is skeptical that a girl who does not have a baby like Tully will be able to do this job. However, Tully's smile, enthusiasm, and confidence in her words somehow convince her. After a brief conversation, Marlo decides to leave the baby in Tully's care so that she can get some rest. Following this, she walks into her room and discusses the nanny with her husband. However, Drew is playing video games with his headphones on, so he doesn't pay attention. At midnight, Marlo is dreaming of Jonah when she is awakened by Tully who has brought her the baby for feeding. As Marlo nurses the baby, she sits in the shadows and smiles. That night, Marlo finally gets a peaceful night's sleep after such a long time. The following morning, Marlo wakes up to discover that Tully has cleaned and organized the entire house. After this, she goes for a morning walk with Drew and her young daughter Mia. Marlo brings up Tully and mentions that she feels positively about her. Hearing this, Drew asks her if they can keep the nanny, to which she responds that Tully is not a dog. Later in the evening, Marlo is watching an adult show when Tully arrives. She quickly turns off the television, but the night nanny sees it. However, instead of feeling awkward, Tully suggests Marlo spend some private time with her husband and even promises to wear headphones if they are going to make noise. Marlo is speechless and simply says thank you before walking upstairs. At midnight, Tully wakes her up to breastfeed the baby and the two begin talking. During this time, Tully asks about Jonah, to which Marlo responds that he is suffering from anxiety, which causes him to overreact in every tiny situation. She also claims to have learned about brush therapy from YouTube videos and that she brushes his body on a regular basis in order to reduce his sensitivity. Marlo also tells her that she used to work in human resources with a company that makes protein bars. Following this, she opens up about her problematic life, but Tully has inspiring solutions to all of her problems. This makes Marlo refer to Tully as a book of fun facts for unpopular fourth graders. Before she goes back to sleep, Tully assures her that she is ready to help her with anything. The next morning, Marlo wakes up to find a tray of colorful cupcakes baked by Tully. 
Happy, she visits Jonah's school and distributes the cupcakes to all his classmates. She also gives one to Lori and apologizes for her previous behavior. Now, Marlo is starting to smile again as the colors of her life that had faded begin to reappear. As a result, she starts preparing new dishes for the family, which makes them happy. One night, Drew packs his bags in order to fly to Portland on business. Before leaving, he asks Marlo if she can manage without him for a while, to which she says yes. In the next scene, we see Marlo drop Jonah off at his new school, and the little boy appears to be nervous. As they walk towards class, Jonah has a sudden urge to pee. Marlo takes him to the boy's restroom and waits outside. However, inside, the little boy gets scared of the flushing sound and starts crying. Scared, she goes inside the gents' restroom without thinking twice and brings out her son. As time passes, Marlo starts to rely more on Tully. Her depression is lifting and everything seems to be falling in place. In the midst of all of this, Jonah also begins to improve. One night, Marlo and Tully talk over a drink and discuss the topic of marriage and sex. Marlo reveals that she no longer has private time with her husband because she is preoccupied with her three children. Drew also works all day, plays video games after dinner, and falls asleep. Tully asks about Marlo's past when she first met Drew. Marlo tells her bluntly that she was in high school and her husband was a part-timer in a restaurant. She goes on to say that Drew always had a thing for the uniforms that waitresses used to wear. Not long ago, Marlo had purchased a similar uniform in order to surprise her husband and add a spark to their marriage. However, now her body has changed and the uniform did not produce the effect she had hoped for. Hearing this, Tully advises her to devise a strategy to recharge Drew's battery. A few moments later, she tries on the uniform, and surprisingly, it fits her perfectly. Then, both of them come up with a plan and decide to go in front of Drew wearing the same uniform. Upon entering the room, Tully sits on Drew and Marlo behind her. The next morning, Drew asks his wife if they're going to talk about last night, to which she responds, we don't have to. Later, we see Marlo singing with her daughter, and seeing this, Drew, Craig, and his wife are all happy for her. The same night Tully arrives, and this time, she appears to be disturbed. When Marlo asks about the matter, she reveals that she had an argument with her roommate. Seeing her stressed, Marlo suggests she take the night off, but Tully asks that they go out and grab a drink. At first, Marlo declines as she is concerned about her baby, but Tully persuades her, saying that Drew can handle the baby for a night. Following this, they go to the bar and have a good time. Marlo hasn't felt this refreshed in a long time. However, her joy quickly turns to sadness when Tully informs her that she is quitting her job. Initially, Marlo refuses to let her go because she is not only a night nanny, but also a close friend. Marlo also asks her for the reason, to which she responds that it was only temporary and that it is time for her to move on. After hearing this, a dejected Marlo rides away on a bicycle and Tully follows her. Marlo doesn't get too far as she again starts experiencing lactation pain. Luckily, Tully helps her to the bar and assists her in relieving the pain. After some time, Marlo's pain subsides and the two drive back home. On their way, both of them are tired physically and mentally, and as a result of this, Marlo falls asleep behind the wheel. This causes her car to slowly move into the opposite lane, and soon after, a car appears in front of them. Just then, Marlo wakes up and hastily turns the steering wheel, causing the car to plunge into a nearby river. In her semi-conscious state, Marlo sees a mermaid with Tully's face, who helps her in unlocking her seatbelt, and disappears. In the next scene, we see Marlo at the hospital. Outside the room, the doctor informs Drew that Marlo has been suffering from depression due to her exhaustion and lack of sleep. Meanwhile, Tully pays a final visit to Marlo to tell her that they will no longer see each other. Surprisingly, she is completely fine and unharmed despite the serious accident. It is then revealed that Tully is a hallucination created by Marlo out of exhaustion. Every night while her husband was deep asleep, Marlo was alone downstairs, constantly caring for the baby and cleaning. After a while, Drew walks in and apologizes to his wife for being an irresponsible husband for all these years. He also admits that he loves her a lot and doesn't want to lose her. In the final scene, Marlo is refreshed and free of her depressed life. She continues with her daily routine while listening to music. Jonah appears to be fine as well, as he no longer requires brush therapy. Now that Drew realizes his failures, he helps his wife with chores and looks after the children.